In 1951, the Research Institute for Applied Mechanics, RIAM, was established. RIAM's research focuses on mechanics and its application to solve important problems in today's society. Our three divisions, Division of Nuclear Fusion Dynamics, Division of Renewable Energy Dynamics, and Division of Earth Environment Dynamics, are devoted in creating an academic foundation that supports the activities of our centers for working to meet the needs of today's society. We also have four research centers, the Advanced Fusion Research Center, the Renewable Energy Center, the Center for Oceanic and Atmospheric Research, and the International Microplastic Research Center for working to solve current social issues through practical applications. In the Renewable Energy Research Group, Windlands technology has been invented and developed which is more efficient and environmentally friendly compared to traditional wind turbines. A novel floating offshore wind turbine system, which is suitable for the Japanese environment, is under development. Extensive model experiments have been carried out in our wave tank equipped with a wind generator for safety assessment of the floating platform under extreme wind and wave conditions. One of the major researches in our group is the wake effect of a wind farm. Wind tunnel experiments are carried out to study aerodynamic and wake features of a wind turbine. A wind lens turbine consists of a ring structure that covers the blades, causing greater winds to pass through the turbine and thus dramatically increasing the turbine's efficiency. The focus of wind lens research is now shifting to a multi rotor system, which is a new approach to increase the wind power generation. In the future, Windlands technology is expected to be used in large scale floating offshore renewable energy farms. Plasma is one of the four fundamental states of matter. A significant portion of it contains charged particles, that is, electrons and ions. The stars across the universe, like our sun, are balls of plasma and natural fusion reactors. Today, we are studying that very same phenomena so that we can create the sun here on Earth. We are trying to confine the plasma in a magnetic vessel. It is turbulence that determines the dynamics and loss of plasma. Turbulence produces structures such as flows and connective cells which determine plasma losses. Our purpose is to clarify the structural formation of plasma turbulence to realize magnetic fusion. To experimentally understand plasma turbulence, we constructed two devices. The Plasma Assembly for Nonlinear Turbulence Analysis, or PANTA, a linear helicon plasma device. A Plasma Turbulence Observatory, or PLATO, is the first tokamak to measure the entire cross-sections of turbulent plasma with high spatial resolution using supertomography. PLATO also uses heavy ion beam probes, or HIBP, in local and fine measurements, and thus makes it possible to explore the principles of structural formation of plasma turbulence. Theory and simulations are also powerful tools for understanding plasma turbulence. Welcome to a world of steady-state operation of tokamaks. This is the Kyushu University Experiment with Steady-State Spherical Tokamak, or QUEST. This is TRIAM-1M, the first superconducting tokamak with niobium-310, which is also used on the International Thermonuclear Experimental Fusion Reactor. TRIAM-1M had a record 5 hours and 16 minute pulse at 6 Tesla, Quest is a medium-sized spherical tokamak that can maintain plasma for 6 hours at 0.25 Tesla. Quest is the only tokamak in the world to be equipped with a plasma-facing wall capable of temperature regulation to control fuel particle balance, which we call a hot wall. We're also working with the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory and the University of Washington on a novel plasma startup method. The Quest project is promoted by many of domestic and international collaborators. A total of 500 researchers per year visit to join in the Quest experiments during about 100 experimental days. 
Riem collaborates with 148 institutes from 12 countries, all in an effort to find solutions to the energy and environmental crisis. We welcome you to join in our endeavors.